Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back. Welcome to, welcome, welcome, welcome back to a new episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. <clears throat> so, yes, I've been gone for a while. And as you can hear, my voice is like, <clears throat> I'm all stuffed up and it's just, it's been a different experience completely. And I am nervous to be recording right now. I'm not going to lie. I am nervous to actually sit here and record in the new environment and hoping that I got everything set up correctly and that it's recording and you guys can hear it and like, please don't be a bad video. No, <laughs> Basically. So I was looking at my old house, right? This is, this is the house that we used to live in. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm just going to destroy it and make a new one. I don't want to do that. I can't do that. It just, there's too many memories with this base and with this stuff. And just, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go get a bunch of glass and make a second floor. That's right. This, this second floor is going to be made out of glass. That way it doesn't take up too much of the, uh, the, the, what is it? The sun light that comes in through the top, but I'm going to need some help. So I'm probably going to recruit some of my, uh, discord members to come in and help me along all this week maybe um again we're still moving into the the new house like there's there's still a lot to do so i i'm not going to guarantee that it's going to continue like this might just be a single video for the week um literally like one of my lights fell down as i was getting ready to record i was about to hit the button and it goes just because I, I i'm using tape to hold up one of the lights uh this light seems to be doing well but i mean Okay, code, stop talking and get to playing the game. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> so what we'll need to do is we'll need to grab a bunch of glass. But the problem with grabbing the glass right now is it's closed. I can't go and get the things with the glass. It's not there. I don't even have an axe on me. What am I doing? So if you don't know what this game is, this is uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. And to all the new uh, people that I've met and gave out my car to and said hello inside the new city that we're in, hello, how are you? Uh, a couple of huge inspirations have just been the family in general. Like, you guys are amazing. For anybody that's part of my family that's watching right now, thank you so much for the love and the support and everything that you guys have done for us. It's just been amazing. And uh, I, I would love to go into like details of the town and the city and the stuff like that, but I'm not going to, just because you know that's that's one thing that I I'm, I keep to myself, and I I don't know uh, I haven't even gotten a PO box yet, so I'm not I'm not sure that I'm going to set up a PO box. Um, if you did send stuff to the old PO box, I don't know if it's going to be able to like forward to me or get to me in any way, but uh, you know I canceled it. So there's, there's no more P.O. Box, which Jack, um, from what I heard, you were trying to send me something, Jack. Oh gosh, we're not even center, are we? Oh, look at this. Look at, look at the amazingness. Look, look, we're back. Yes, we're back. Back again. So let's just play, you know? I haven't played Lumber Tycoon 2 in forever. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's, uh, let's grab this Rookie X here and let's just go flying oh and i do have my rookie x wait i know what i can do hold up hold up hold up hold up i actually had to reset all of this stuff so let's go fade 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 can you see the background here okay hold on hold on one second let's see let's see if i can do this Look at the room. Look at look. I've got the rookie axe. I've got I've got my rookie. I've got like all the original like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. I got the Wii. I got all my systems. This is going to be a big display wall. What I plan on doing is like that whole thing is it's just going to be a bunch of nerd stuff. Uh, I'm I'm probably going to widen my camera as well. I could probably do that right now, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go back behind the curtain here. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, that's way off. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. What happened? Come on. Come on. Oh, we didn't. There 
we go. There we go. And it's still not coming all the way over. What happened? Oh. Oh, I gotta scoot forward. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, it's still. Ugh. Come on, stay. Stay. That looks good. Oh, fade, 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 fade. Oh, no, that's not good, is it? Not good at all, because it's got a little bitty sliver over there. You know what? Boop, there we go. Sliver's gone. Let's get to playing. <clears throat> so, if you have never played Lumber Tycoon 2 before, you gotta go and get an axe first. And you usually buy that from Tom. You start out with 20 bucks. 20, 20, I would like to say 20 dollars, but it's not dollars, it's monies. You know? The uh, exchange rate is quite poop in this game. Uh, and the pink cars are the best cars. They don't have anything special about them. They don't have any extra abilities or anything like that, but they are cool. So, yes, very, oops, very cool things. Oh, get off me. Come on, there we go. Uh, I do apologize about my allergies. Oh, the uh, allergy season is upon this, uh, where we're at now, and it's just, it has been torture on my nose. I have to spray my nose with like, anti uh, nose stuff all the time. <laughs> I do have my coffee though. So, coffee time. Coffee time, excellent. <clears throat> How many of you got that reference? I know the dads did, the dads got that reference. <clears throat> Foxy, lady. What was I doing? I was explaining the game. Oh, yeah, so you come over here and you mess up all of these like this, and then you say, I'm sorry, Tom, and then you grab one of these, and then he says, oh, oh, oh code, you're so funny. And then you just, you ask to buy one. I'm not gonna purchase one, I don't, I don't need one. Get, get that out of there, get that out of there. But then, like once you have an ax, you can come out here and you can chop some trees, like this. Be like, wop, boom, wop, boom. Well, you won't be like, wop, boom. You'll be like, tink, tink, tink. And then you'll get one of these little trees like this. And you'll walk it over here. And you're, it's going to be really boring. You'll be like, oh my gosh, what? Many of your files were deleted recently. Oh, that's because I did a restore. Duh. Thanks, Microsoft. OneDrive. My oh, silly goose. Anyhow, you're going to try and probably do this first. And you'll be like, oh, it worked. And then you'll get some money for that, but it's not really gonna be that much money. Like you see 19.9 million up there, that's just because like I'm super famous and I got a lot of people who give me lots of gifts and stuff like that. It's not because I did all the work myself. <sighs> My ADHD has just taken off tonight. Hello, ADHD. Anyhow, once you have enough money, then you come back in here and you get a better better ax, like one of these axes, or maybe that ax over there, who knows? You could even come and get the, one of those axes. But the point is, once you have enough money, you should come over here to the land store and you'll talk to Reuben, that guy right there. And then there's like, um, there's nine different plates. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, get out of there chat, Se seven, and then there's eight, and then there's nine right there. But only six people can be inside a server at one time. So it gives you a little bit of variety of where where you want to put your, your base, but it's it's still not very like selective. I'm hoping that Defaultio Oh, I forgot to check for updates. Oh my gosh. I haven't even looked at Jack's channel. Like I've been completely disconnected. It's been so nice. And I, I thank you everyone for the comments inside the, the comment section. Oh, you guys are amazing. 5-7-2021. That's when it was last updated. 5-7-2021. So, not many updates coming from Defaultio, but, you know, we, uh, we don't really need them. This game is perfect just the way it is, you know? And yes, some fixes here and there would be nice, but, like, we like bugs when we find really cool glitches. We don't like bad bugs. The ones that, like, Mess up your money and stuff like that. No, no, bad, bad bugs. But the ones where you can like fly a car or drive underwater, those are good bugs. Those are the fun bugs. We like those bugs. Or when you can attach two doors together and create a bridge. 
And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my channel. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm supposed to call out that thing at the very beginning because you used to call it out at the end, but now you call it out at the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that smash button and like. <coughs> hit that smash button. Smash the like button in the face. I don't even remember what I was doing. We, we were just, you know what? This is a comeback tour. You know, we had a going away tour and this is the comeback tour and I'm I'm so grateful for you guys. Like, there's not been much activity in, in the, the last video, but there's been like over 8,000 views, which is really cool. I didn't think 8,000 views would happen on a Lumber Tycoon 2 video, just me being me, you know? But that's neither here nor there. I, I plan on doing more videos. I plan on like having a lot more time Right now, uh, I'm just getting set up. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments that you're leaving right now. Even you, stop, stop. Are you typing right now? Are you typing right now? Was it gonna be a good comment? Think about, think about what you're about to type just now and then type it again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just having fun. We should go over the wires, but this isn't the base to do the wires on. This is this is the old house base. And you know what? The new house, oh, it is it is amazingly huge. I, I love the new house. Hey, it's daytime. We should go and get uh, some glass started. We're going to need lots of glass, so we should go get the big panes, big planes of glass, the, pl the planes. The plane, the plane. Um, boop, 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 boop. It's only good 12 minutes. Jeez. Well, I mean, 12 minutes. That's like half a 30 minute video. Oh, one of the problems of having my green screen up the way that it is, is the bar that I use to hold up the green screen, it's running right in front of the, uh, the fan. So I can't turn the fan on. Might have to fix that. Might, might have to move, move the bar closer. I am a Super Hoover. Thank you, Saranok. That is Saranok, right? Hold on. I didn't even look to see who that was. Damn, Saranok. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and, and view all the people's YouTube videos. Like, I've, I've been seeing their notifications going off, but I've not been watching anybody. I've just been so busy. Tonight's like the first night that I've had to just relax. And even then, it's still not relaxing. Like, I went to uh, Walmart and I picked up so much stuff. I picked up a, a desk because I'm a work, uh, I'm a wor work remote. I'm a work a remote work. I'm a remote worker now, which is amazing that my boss let me do that. But the, uh, downside is <coughs> I kind of have a completely separate computer for work. So he's sending me my computer and I have to get a place set up so I can plug into our direct VPN connection stuff. Like there's this little box that I plug everything into. It goes directly to our network, uh, work network. So very cool, very cool stuff. Um, huge shout out to Brandon. Thanks bro. I know you're the one that set up all the VPN stuff for me. Huge shout out to Shannon. I know I know that you created the uh, the box for me. Wait, is it the same box as before? I don't know. I know that you did set up set up uh, things for me, and I think Dan configured the phone, right? I don't know. Huge shout out to Blake, just being there, bro. And a uh, huge shout out to my boss, Izzy. Uh, Imad, I, d I don't know if you had anything to, to do with the the move, but huge shout out to you, man. Huge shout out to everyone that I work with. You know, that's one thing that we take for granted a lot of times. Just the people that you work with, they have a huge impact on your life and the influences that you have, you know, the influences that they have on your life. Because a lot of the times, whenever I go to work, it's, it wasn't really to like hang out or chat with anybody, but they would still 
listen to my conversations and indulge me in my nerdiness. <clears throat> Which is funny because in a in a department full of nerds, whenever I started talking about the programming stuff, I always felt like I was the actual nerd and they were like sports jocks. That's just the programming part of it though. A lot of my programming jokes people don't get. So, oh, there's this, uh, there's this hand wipe, like a, it's like a towelette kind of thing. And it's called, um, Bactive, right? But it's spelled B-A-C-T-I-V-E, right? So the way I read it is be active, be active. Because inside of our programming, inside one of our, <coughs> Well, inside most of our data databases, whenever we want a record to show, we turn on the be active. It's just a binary, one or zero. It's on or off. So I took a picture of it and sent it to the guys. Two of them laughed. <laughs> like, you can't escape the code. Uh, I'm a nerd. It's cool. <clears throat> Summertime, you know? I just thought about that. All of you, well, anybody in the Northern Hemispheres, you're out of school right now, aren't you? Yes. What's it feel like, you know, summer vacation? I don't know, because I don't get a break. I still work, but it's like, is it really work when you're having as much fun as you have? So for those of you that don't, didn't know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I don't do this full-time. I have a nine to five job. Well, it's not nine to five. It's technically eight to five. Technically it's seven to four. I, I don't know. I don't know how you describe it. It's an eight hour work day. But because I've been doing the remote worker thing, it's now, hey, basically choose your own hours, your project based and get your projects done. And there's uh, there's a couple of projects that like I just, I can't touch until my computer arrives, which I'm super excited about. He, uh, my boss, he went and got me uh, a speakers and like three curved monitors and uh, a keyboard. Like he, he's sending me my own mouse and my own computer and stuff, but I'm super excited. I just, I gotta say. I think um, this gaming computer that I've got right now, it's got an NVIDIA GTX 1060. Uh, it's the eight gig, no, six gigabyte, not the three gigabyte uh, card. And they've got an RTX 280, I think. That's only $999. I'm thinking about letting my wife have this computer and I'll go buy myself a new one. What do you guys think? What, what would you do? If you if you had the ability to go and purchase a new machine, would you purchase pre-built or would you buy all the parts yourself and, and try and get a good deal out of it? Let me know in the comments down below. And that, that goes for everyone. If you're listening in the background right now and you just happen to see... Hey, what, like you just happen to hear the question, answer it. Take it, take some time to stop, drop a comment down below and just tell me, would you purchase new or would you build your own? Because growing up, I, I got stories for you. Growing up, I used to DIY everything. Do it yourself. Buy the parts, spec out the memory, spec out the, the motherboard, do everything on my own. And now that I'm all grown, I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> it's taking forever. And this computer here has everything that I was wanting anyway. So I don't know. It's a, it's a new world. I'm ready to go play some Oculus too. I think this room will be, this will be amazing for some Oc. Uh, I've got ideas for setups. <clears throat> Whoa, we need to get back into Subnautica as well. Did you guys know that I was also playing the Subnautica Below Zero series? Oh no! I wiped my computer. I wonder if all the save files are still there. I'm gonna have to go check. I tell you what, uh, it's been 20 minutes and I got a nice little stack of, uh, of plates here. I'll go take this back.
I'm, I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to cut it at the 20-minute mark. No 30-minute video today. Oh, no. What happens if I don't have my, my save file? Do, do I lose everything? Oh, no. You guys have got to go check out the Subnautica series. It's fun. By the way, the idea of putting the glass up there as a second level and then creating the new uh, the new house on top of that, that is completely an ADHD idea, okay? I didn't even think of it until like just before I started recording. I'm like, what am I going to go record? I don't know. I don't, I'll just go and do it. So one of the things about my ADHD is I will start a project and not finish. It happens all the time. And it's, it's very much my personality because I've got a bunch of games that I've programmed. Not a single one of them's finished. So I should take some time to go back through all of my games and start completing each one that I've done. Just as a, just as a thought, you know, anyhow, whoa, that's, whoa. hey, <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I love you guys very much. It feels good to be back. I was nervous at the beginning. I don't think I'm nervous anymore. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.